God made you beautiful. Your hair, your skin, flaws and imperfections, your beauty within. All right, guys, this is my prayer room, as promised. Um, when you first walk in, um, first of all, what we did was we changed the prayer room colors. It used to be burgundy. It is now a light gray color, as you can see. Paint really, really changes a room, guys. It used to be a warm room. Now it's bright, airy. Um, we're going with the natural neutral colors now in our home, spy-like feel or whatever. And this is our prayer room where we come to pray, read our Bible, um, you know, study our Bible, listen to uh, worship music. Um, we do that outside the prayer room too, but this is just time that we spend with God. Um, in this room personally, so nobody is really invited into this room or allowed into this room um, unless you are praying or studying or reading your word. So, okay, with that being said, first thing um, I'm going to show you guys is this sign that we found at Hobby Lobby. We waited until it was half off, and it says, as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. I love this sign, so does my husband. It's kind of like a um, whitewash uh, sign in wood trim. Get a little bit closer so you guys can see it better. I love, love, love this beautiful sign. Um, we just want to keep our home simple, guys. We added these beautiful lamps that we found at Home Goods. And these were marked down. We have been looking for a while, and this matches also the lamp that's in our living room, um, even though they were from two different stores. But the tables we've had already, so we kept what we had already we're still using that concept guys of keeping what you have but working with it staying within budget um we will re replace them eventually but at this time it's not in the budget so what we did was just added a lamp um added pillows to this couch that we had already added a beautiful blanket the blanket came from home goods the pillows came from burlington coat factory home goods um I want to say those are the two places that I got all of the pillows. And in the center of the pillows, guys, you can see just a little bit of bling. I added that myself. Um, those are kind of, um, I think they're brooches or whatever from Joanne Fabric. Um, they were on clearance. So you just have to be creative, guys. Added one to each of those in the front there. So you can kind of have a little bit of bling but I didn't want it too fancy because this is our prayer room, so we don't want to, you know, have people just in here looking around. This is, you know, a sacred space to us. So you guys remember these plants that I showed you when we did the living room tour? And I told you these are all over our home. We got those from Hobby Lobby. We just love those. The candle holders, I believe those came from Burlington Coat Factory. Um, we've had the tables about 10 years or so the rug here came from Walmart the curtains you guys I'm not sure if you guys can see or not but it's kind of bright outside today the curtain has a little shimmer in it that came from home goods this curtain in between the sheer one I believe that one was like five dollars it came from um, Menards and then the olive curtains are the same color as the couch. We had those for years, so um, we already, you know, we just added to those. Also, I wanted to show you guys the um, little tie back clips and another one of our scent holders from Bath and Body Works. The signs were given to us, I believe, by my mom years ago, and I love these because they have scriptures. They were initially gold, but I kind of wanted to give them a whitewash look to kind of match the um, sign over the couch. So I bought some acrylic white paint from Hobby Lobby for, I don't know, guys, like a dollar or so. I used the 40% off, and I painted around those and let those dry, and this is what they turned out like. I love those. This vase is absolutely gorgeous i <laughs> have been watching it for a long time and it was at hobby lobby 
and when it went on sale, I believe for 50% off or so, I think that's when I got it. I may have gotten it at 40% off, but I was so excited. It was 80 bucks, and I didn't want to just spend that amount of money, so I got it for a half off or either 40% off, something like that, but so glad that I got this, and um, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful accent to this room. I love that flower print on it. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. The flowers, again, are Joanne fabrics, and these little diamond pieces in the center here guys are just buttons so just be creative i bought those buttons um half off or on clearance at joann's i never really pay full price for anything unless i really really have to have it and i usually can wait so i just hot glued those in the center and it just gave the flowers a totally totally different look the table i got from tj maxx just love that table I think it was originally 60 bucks, but they had it marked down. So I think I paid about 40 bucks maybe for it. So I really, really love that. Over here we have a bookcase. Um, pictures of my family. Um, this picture is my daughter praying at her basketball game, and a photographer caught that picture. So I love that photo. Um, and they won that game. Um, let's see, holy oil, uh, a picture that my friends gave me, we have books, the books that we've read or are reading, um, let's see, pictures of the family, blessings jar, prayer in there, and, you know, just little stuff, guys, we tried to keep it as simple as possible, we didn't want to add all the, um, extra stuff, just want to keep it clean and neat, and that's another tip to making your home beautiful guys it's just to keep it clean keep it neat change out the paint color you know the candles we got from hobby lobby and the candle sticks we've had for over 10 years um they were even broken at one point and we glued them back together so i really did not want to throw these out so i used some of that gray matte paint guys that i have left over and uh painted them my husband loved them, so we put them in here. This um, basket of, of, well, this plant, I found at Goodwill. And it was so cute to me. It was a um, brown basket, but I wanted, to, wanted it to go with what I had. So I took some of that white acrylic paint that I also painted the frames with, and I added it to this, kind of brushed it over a little bit. And as you can see in the back, it's kind of like a chest. So that's the back of it brushed it over that and I kind of I like the look that I got it's kind of like a whitewash look so it goes really well in this room this picture I won at work um we did a raffle to raise money for um different things different uh things that we participate in the community or help out to donate money to different organizations and my name got pulled and I love this I won it years ago um I love the verse on it Just love that. So that goes in here. And the last thing that we have to do in this room, guys, is to change these out. These are going to be silver like the rest of them so it can go with the rest of the house. So we haven't gotten a chance to get to that yet because we've been working so hard on our home um, trying to get things done. So we haven't changed that one out either. But we will get to that. We have them. We did buy them, but we just haven't had a chance to put them on yet. So... I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that it inspired you to um, decorate your home, decorate your prayer room, um, just using a lot of things that you have already and just being creative. Um, you can change up an entire room just with creativity, guys, and just, you know, a paint color, a paint switch, washing something down, um, repainting it, uh, changing the lighting. It, it is just so amazing to me at how many things you can actually do to your home to make it uh, beautiful without spending a whole lot of money. And I almost forgot, guys. This right here was given to me as a gift by one of my bosses a long time ago when we had this home built. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you. And until next time, bye.